Well, we were talking today about listening. One of the key skills that we're trying to impart to you as a good communicator. Remember that listening is, is simply interpretation because what, what it really comes down to is when I hear somebody speak, especially in a public speaking situation, I'm interpreting. And so what we're talking about today are some of the barriers that keep us from interpreting correctly what the speaker might have meant. And remember, there's always going to be a gap between what the speaker intends to say and what they actually say. Because we're imperfect, you know, we don't get the message just right. So what we're going to do today is talk about some of the barriers to effective interpretation, effective listening. So let's talk about the first one, distractions. And distractions come in two forms, internal and external. In other words, if I'm daydreaming in the middle of, my, of, of a lecture, or if the dog's barking while I'm trying to communicate to you, you know, that's going to cause me to be distracted in the sense that I can't hear you. Or maybe I can't see you. Maybe if I'm doing a, a Zoom thing and, and all of a sudden, you know, the screen goes blank for a couple of seconds. Well, that's a distraction. And so what we have to do is recognize those distractions and then step back. The mind is a wonderful thing and we have sort of a time lag in our head because we think faster than we can talk. And so what happens is when I'm talking, you're interpreting about three times faster than I can talk intelligently. So you got plenty of time. Step back, take your time and figure it out. Gender, men and women are different. They communicate differently. They tend to listen in different ways. Men are typically what we call problem solvers. They listen to solve a problem, not always. And of course, these are generalizations. And then women are more are what we call relationship listeners, where they're really listening more toward the idea of creating a positive relationship. So they like to be heard. And so what you wanna do is realize that. And so maybe a more interactive situation with women might be better because then they get to express themselves in a public speaking situation. Bias. You know, bias is, a, is an opinion you already have. You know, I love blue. Blue is my color, man. And so when you come in and say, well, you know, yellow is pretty cool too. No, no, no. Bias, that prejudgment, no, you already have a strong opinion. And so once you're confronted with that, it's very difficult to change. So what it tends to happen is, especially in religious argument or say political argument you end up with someone who says X and you believe Y and so you should stop listening to them and we need to fight that because we need to create an environment where we're actually listening to people okay snap judgments and this is kind of like the bias thing but it's a little bit different you know you walk the speaker walks up and says X and you make a snap judgment in that moment and this happens especially at the beginning of a speech, an audience will look at the speaker, get a measure of the speaker, and then make a judgment. And of course, that's not really fair, but that's what we do as people. And so what you need to do again is to step back from that, regroup a little bit and say, well, let's hear this guy out before we make a judgment. And it's sort of the idea of withholding judgment, waiting until you begin the decoding or interpretation process. Finally, appearance. You know, we live in a world where attractive people, you know, get the edge because they're attractive and we like attractive people. And so that's, a, that's just a reality. And so we have to fight against that because we'll see somebody that we think is attractive and we'll be, we'll be moved in their direction for no other reason than that. When they may not be, you know, really saying something that's effective or, or good. And so what I want you to think about here is, you know, don't make that snap judgment about, oh, well, I'm going to listen to them because they happen to be more physically attractive. Or maybe it's something about their voice. It doesn't have to be a physical thing. It could be, it could be something about their tone of voice or their, their pitch or something like that. So be very, very careful. So good listening is about disciplining ourselves to, to not fall into bad habits, to be respectful, to be open. And then you can make a judgment, a more reasoned, careful judgment about what that person, A, actually said, and B, what you think about it. And that's the barriers to effective listening.